should pop up right about now. All right, so what you guys are looking at is IMPC. The app is available on any of your iOS devices. Um, it's not on the Macadocious or the MacBook Adocious, but you can get it on iPhone or iPad, uh, whatever uh, generation device that you have. Um, if you're on the first iPhone, though, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might want to upgrade, you dig? So, um, I guess I'll just go ahead and just uh, give the overview. All right, so what you're looking at is um, the IMPC. It's a really dope graphic. Um, it's, this is a beautiful graphic because it looks exactly like an MPC. Um, and I have it blown up in HD uh, in my view that I'm looking at right now. And even the, um, even the spacing in between the pads uh, is gorgeous. They have uh, some wear and tear visuals on the pads themselves and wear and tear in between you know how kind of how the paint kind of scrapes off after you've been you know banging on your pads for a couple years it's a really beautiful graphic um you can see the mod wheel here um you you, you have your uh your recorder mode you know your dub mode stop start um you have your sequence mode uh, in the top left hand corner so the pads are um synced um, and uh, there um, you have your visual pads 1 through 16 um, the mod wheel is usually uh, used for uh, sequence selecting but there's a couple other things that you can do it for use it for uh, I won't be going too far in depth on that but uh, I will die, dig into it a little bit okay so if this is your first time opening IMPC then um, this will be very confusing in that you won't know how to make a beat straight off you probably will be able to hit record and you probably will be able to uh, get some sounds to play back um, but to make a banger <laughs> you know what I'm saying to make a banger it's gonna take a little time for you to get used to this app but it's definitely worth the purchase um, it's definitely worth the purchase I'm not sure what the app costs right now but um, it's uh, definitely a studio quality um, sound and uh, it's definitely something that you could use to make a commercial product um, the advantage that you have with this joint over you know the first MPC I would say or even if you just go to the store and buy an MPC now. If you bought an MPC today, came in the mail, blase, skippity, woo woo, opened it up, you wouldn't have any sounds. So, you know, the IMPC comes standard with sounds. And what's dope about uh, Retro Nims is that they actually have a store that you can go and buy sounds and download to uh, through the audio copy app. And I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't want to go too far deep into that. All right, so. I have a drum kick loaded. If you've been watching my tutorials, uh, I've opened up uh, what is this? Uh, NPC Essentials, and this particular uh, drum kit is located inside of the uh, sound kits that come uh, standard with the IM with the NPC Essentials uh, with the Kind PK Mini. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from the right hand of the screen, right? Actually, I'm going to demo this kit, D let you guys hear exactly what this sounds like. All right, that's my kick. Pad one, pad two, pad two, same kick. I guess uh, that's uh, for continuity people who want to play. I don't know a kick roll. We got a nice low hi hat. Crash. Nice low. See, that's a hard snare right there. That's 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 not playing around. It's layered too. It's got some uh, effects on it. Sounds like a bit crusher or something like that. Uh, nice little clap and snare. Nice 808 snare with a clap. That's nice. Nice little ride cymbal. Yeah. For my trap producers. Nice little blip. Old school 808. That's like an 8-bit <laughs> snare. Ooh. Man, 
that's a plush clapping snare right there. Little rim shot. 